We come from a broken family, we are a little unsettled," Obama reportedly told Stephen Colbert, while promoting her best-selling memoir, Becoming, before a crowd of about 15,000. Sometimes you spend the weekend with divorced dad. That feels like fun, but then you get sick. That is what America is going through. We are living with divorced dad. Obama also reportedly implied that Trump was never prepared to be president, saying the presidency reveals who someone truly is. We were always ourselves, the presidency does not change who you are, it reveals who you are, Obama reportedly said in what the independent said appeared to be another dig at Trump. It is like swimming in the ocean with great waves. If you are not a great swimmer, you are not going to learn in the middle of a tidal wave. You are going to resort to your kicking and drowning and what you knew how to do in the pool. Obama also said America is currently in a dark place and there is trepidation and anxiety in America and all over the world because of Trump's presidency. This may feel like a dark chapter, but any story has its highs and lows but it continues. Yes, we are in a low, but we have been lower. We have had tougher times, we have had more to fear. We have lived through slavery, the Holocaust and segregation, she reportedly added. We have always come out at the other end, better and stronger. We are moving in a direction of diversity and inclusion. No one ever said it would be easy. We are just in the throes of the uneasy path of change. Obama revealed in her memoir that she will never forgive Trump for fanning the birther controversy and she again criticized Trump for questioning her husband's place of birth and calling for his transcripts, while saying her critics accused her of being an unpatriotic person who was loud and rude and obnoxious. I don't know if there has been a president who has been accused of not being born in this country, who has been asked to show his transcripts, who has been accused of being unpatriotic. There was a lot of stuff that had not happened before that happened to us, Obama reportedly said. There was a time when people accused me of not loving my country. They accused me of being loud and rude and obnoxious. Obama, who told Oprah Winfrey that she cried for 30 minutes after Trump's inauguration, then told the audience that they should take some solace in the fact that her husband was elected twice and, in her opinion, would have been elected for a third term had he been eligible. That really did happen. People would have voted for him for a third time. What is going on today is true but what happened before was also true. That should give us some solace at some level," Obama said. For eight years, the president they saw in their country was Barack Obama. He was somebody who people thought was smart and would do the right thing. Michelle Obama's memoir has sold more than 10 million copies and her publisher said it could well become the most successful memoir ever.